Hello, my name is Lou Perosi. Today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to trim a bowl. So let's take a look at the bowl first. All right, so get an idea. Yeah, put some big slip on it. All right, give it a nice little bit of texture. Okay, um, and I'll show you how I go about doing it. It's a nice leather hard consistency. So I just take it and I grab it. Have it on a bat. And then I like to go ahead and take my finger. And one of the most important things I do when I throw a bowl is with my last movement. My last movement, I actually, as it, after I'm throwing it, I take this wooden rib and I hold it on the bottom like this. Okay, can you see that? hold it like this in place. And the reason I do that is I make sure that I look it down and I level and I look at it, make sure it's not moving, that it's straight. Even when it's spinning, even if the top of the hole is moving around, that bottom part is straight. Okay? And so I hold it very precisely for a while. And the reason I do that is, again, even if the bowl is uh, a little bit off, it doesn't matter when it comes to trimming. As long as you come back to this point, no is truly centered, okay, it's always going to be right. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. So I spin it, where my hits my finger, I go ahead and give it just a little push forward. I want to get this as nice and even as possible. You always want to make sure you take your time when you're trimming. Because if, if this isn't perfectly centered and you don't take your time, one side is going to be thick and another side is going to be thick. So that's perfect. All right? It's not moving at all. Okay. Now just take a ball of clay, take three little lumps and make some coils. I put my hand on the top, and then I just rest that coil down on the side, all right, just like that. All right, then I flip it. I'm going to do three of them. I get it again, nice and snug. I'm holding the top. All right, spin it one more time. Hold the top. Coil down. Now we're good. Okay. All right. Now that we've done that, I usually like to start off with a small trimming tool. And the main reason for that is it's just less drag. If I use start with this thing, maybe I pull this little pot off, and I don't want to go ahead and do that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Again, I lock my hands together. My elbows are down. Um, and now I just make this sort of shape. Okay. And I start to remove clay. Right. And slowly working it over. And I take it primarily from the outside first. You get a lot with this little guy. This little guy can do a lot. And I listen for a sound. When I hear a sound, it usually starts to tell me it's relatively thin. But I can still take a little bit more off of this. Okay. And now I can take the big thing. And it starts to remove this. I don't think I can take anything more off, so I'm not going to. I think this is probably good enough. Okay, so now that I've done this, now I'm going to the inside. I use the triangular spot. Okay, that. Look at that. I start from the middle out. Again, everything's supported. Right, so just kind of work it, work it, work 
work until we get out from that book area. I probably slip this outside part a little bit. That I have consistency up and down on the piece. Here's where I like to get this. Okay, a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's about as thin as I want it. I may just be able to get a little sneak a little bit from the outside here. Not much. That's probably pretty good. One last time of cleaning this foot up. I like a nice sharp foot. That's good. It's just a nice white porcelain I'm working with. The last thing I like to do is kind of finish that foot a little bit with softening this little edge that's occurred here. Okay. Like that. That's kind of nice. What you notice I did is I trimmed from the outside, left the spot, trimmed from the inside, left the spot. And so what you have is this perfect foot. A lot of people like to take the trimming tools and go over that area. That's not good. Just come at it from one side and the other, and then that, that's always going to tell you that that's nice and flat. Okay? Now I go ahead and I put my John Hancock on this. So go ahead and make a little marking. And go ahead and initial it. Okay? And I'll clean that inside up later. Let's take a look at this. Oh, the other thing I like to do, let me get it. The other thing I like to do is, I don't like to pick these up right now, because if they're really light, as it probably is, I can work the shape. So what I do is I take a bat, and I go bat to bat. Oh yeah, that's pretty light. Okay. So, there is your bowl. Take a look at that. Yep. Thanks for watching.